faxes. I was like, I was like, <laughs> faxes? I haven't done a fax in 20 years. Yes. But but if you think about it, right? He everyone's sending stuff out to people, they're emailing. You send someone a fax, I guarantee you it's gonna get on that person's desk. I what really do you do? Unless they don't have a fax machine. But what if do you open do? A, Go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt, but what tell everybody what you do when it's raining in New York and you want to get to see hard to see CEOs. What do you do? This you'll love this, Rochelle. This is really it makes some stand, stands out. There it is. Cushman and Wakefield umbrella. You guys see it? Yeah. Tell everybody how do you how do you do that for appointments that are hard to get? What do you do with that umbrella? Well, look, I think you know one thing I like to do is I like to go get to the building as wet as I possibly can. I go up to the person's face and I say, look, is, is Mary or Joe around? I have this, I'd like to drop this off for them. You know, most of the time they're not. And so I'll leave it with the assistant. But um, what will happen in New York is that, look, to get people to respond to you is not easy. And we always try to look at a uh, percentage of response rates using different methods. I would say by far, one of the highest response rates we get from our activities is handing out umbrellas on rainy days. And you know, once that happens and you get into that zone where a person acknowledges and thanks you for the umbrella, it's, you're in a different playing field than the, the 75 or 80% other brokers out there. What do we call that when they, you did something nice to them and they- well, it's reciprocity. That. It's reciprocity. reciprocity. Um, but it's also more than that, Claude. I think you hit it with the umbrella on a rainy day, you also hit a, a, a certain mental note. It's raining, um, people are not happy. And here's this person completely uh, un un had no idea was going to do this, comes to your office and personally drops off an umbrella for your consumption. It's, it's 10 to $15. And, you know, Audrey, I don't want to tell you how to do your business, but I can tell you if I was in residential real estate, I would be handing these things out like hotcakes. Did you say uh, umbrellas? Yes. Well, I got to tell you, my broker gate gives us an umbrella as uh, we come on board. But the other thing I want to say, you just made me think, and I, and I don't mind if you tell me how to do my business, Aaron, actually, I respect your opinion, but uh, you know, it doesn't rain here. Right, I'm sorry, it's maybe sunglasses. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Sorry. California, right. Sorry. Hey, Aaron. <laughs> So here's what I'm thinking, Aaron, you know, it's LA, everybody's like, you know what, you just gave me an idea, like I would put my name and whatever on a bottle of water yeah, yeah. and give them that. Or if you have a really good prospect, you know what, get them a cool bottle of wine. I remember Claude sent me one year a really good cult bottle of wine. I don't know how much it cost, Claude, but it was really cool. It tasted great. And it wasn't like a, a regular bottle. So it's like a nice little story Claude had about the vineyard that he loves going to. and. You know, gift giving in the corporate world has changed a lot. It's a lot harder to do gift giving in our business. Uh, uh, but I think in the residential business, you guys have a lot less, you know, regulations that you can deal with. Yeah. Audrey. Yeah. Audrey, you're, you're in Southern California. They've got a bunch of wineries out there, if I remember. Um, if you go to, if you go directly to a winery, what would it cost you to get a private label bottle with your name on it? Yeah. That's a good question. Vino de Audrey. Blanco. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's a very good question. That's uh, a great idea. Yeah. Anything that brings attention, that gets them to uh, reciprocity, gratefulness. Say thank you for the umbrella, the book. Aaron, you used to do coffee books. table books. Yes. I mean, I've been doing that a lot recently, guys. I go on Amazon and I send people books. And sometimes they're used. I don't care. I actually sent the president of my company a used book on sales. He wrote me like a five paragraph email him thank, thanking me profusely for the book. And guess what? I have the president's ear. I was with him for 15 minutes earlier today where everyone else can't even get time to see the guy. I love it. A couple of things before we run out of time. It kind of follows what we're talking about. I use video a lot for marketing. You guys know I teach in video, Skype and Zoom. Facebook Messenger. I communicate in video. I send it, uh, when I speak to a new prospect, I always follow up with a video email, which is very easy to use. Um, if you have a, if you have a, a Mac computer, they have something called Photo Booth. You can use QuickTime. There is, um, there's an application out there, uh, BombBomb, um, things like that. Uh, 
there's many ways to make yourself stand out. Now, how many people here have received a, vi a personalized video email in their mar from some salesperson? You don't no. get No, nope. no, never. Yeah, and oh, Misha got one, that's right. All of you got one from me, I believe, right? Didn't I, I always send a video email after I speak to a new prospect, or even if we don't do business, I wanna stand out, I want them to remember me. We're in the business of creating a memory. Okay, we're in the memory business, right? We want them to remember us. So I send video emails to everybody. Um, it, it just makes me stand out differently. Um, when I train people, I use Skype for videos. Um, I use live streaming, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, uh, Periscope for when I want to talk about a topic and attract a new audience, uh, new people within it. So I'm using video in all different ways. Um, rope, uh, you know, um, when he, a meeting, you know, it, I had somebody once who wanted me to come up to Beverly Hills for a meeting from San Diego. Now in a normal world, that wouldn't be a big deal. Okay. But in California, that's four hours up and four hours down and a lot of traffic. Instead, I set up a, um, I set up a Skype meeting. They had a big conference room. They hooked me up into Skype and I gave my presentation without leaving my desk. That's good use of time also. So we're in a video, use video and not only in marketing, but to say 